My name is Tim. I'm going to show you how to use the International Keyboard. If you don't have the International Keyboard installed, please see my other video, How to Install the U.S. International Keyboard. The keyboard is used for typing accents and symbols in a variety of foreign languages, and I use it in Spanish all the time. Go down to your bar at the bottom, and if you have a little keyboard, as I do because I have that installed, you'll have a little keyboard icon, left click on it, and select the United States International. Now you'll be able to type using these accents and this keyboard in any application, uh, whether it's a word processor or on the web or chat rooms or anything. I'm going to be typing in Microsoft Word. Now, for the vowels and the, the regular accent in Spanish, it's very easy. You just touch the apostrophe key before you type the letter. Letter A. And you'll get an a, a with an accent. Or touch the key E. Touch the apostrophe key. Touch I. Nothing happens when you touch the apostrophe key. It's not until you type the letter that you get it coming out. Which is a little bit weird at first, but you get used to it really fast. Now for the umlaut in German or Spanish, it's just shift apostrophe key. And then the letter. For the ny, it's shift on the left side of the keyboard and the enye symbol which is right below the escape key then the letter if you need a capital n then it's the same thing shift enye key then capital n Now for the symbols, the upside down question mark is the right alt key held down and then you touch the question mark. So the right alt key is the alt key located to the right of the space bar. So I'm depressing the right alt key and then touching the question mark and I get the upside down question mark. Now using the same alt key to the right of the space bar, you can touch the exclamation point and get that, an upside down exclamation point for Spanish. So that covers all you need for Spanish. Now just to show you some other characters, once again you might have to type a euro symbol. That would be the right alt key, the alt key to the right of the space bar, and the number 5. Uh, a C with a cedilla is an alt key and then the less than symbol. For the capital C with a cedilla, it's shift key on the right and the alt key and less than symbol. For the circumflex, it's just the shift key and the circumflex, which is above the six, 
and then the letter. And it comes out with a circumflex over it. Now when you're done typing in a foreign language, you do want to remember to return the keyboard to US. Otherwise it can freak someone out if they use your computer and suddenly they're typing a, a, an apostrophe and it doesn't come out. 